It is the 15th of the 12th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on the extinction protocol. They're pretty much covering everything today. Airlines report significant rise in doomsday flights to alleged safe havens. Uh, with the Mayan calendar coming to an end on December 21st, many doomsday believers think that means that the end of the world is coming. Some are doing what they can do to survive to suppose the supposed apocalypse. So they're heading to places that they believe will protect them on doomsday. Searches for flights in places like uh, the, the mountain in France they're all meeting, which they actually shut down in other places, a surprisingly increase of flights, so the story goes. Explosive eruption reported in Ecuador's volcano. A sudden strong ash explosion occurred on the volcano in uh, Ecuador today at 1435 local time, according to local reports. Uh, the pretty good picture there, too. Category 3 Cyclone Evan leaves trail of death in Samoa and heads to Fiji. And this is in the South Pacific, of course, just north of New Zealand and... Uh, kind of heading its way towards Australia there. Violent pair of earthquakes strike off the coast of California. Two violent earthquakes that hit southern coast of California this Friday morning at approximately 2.30 a.m. Uh, the first hit was a 6.3 and uh, the second one was later downgraded to a 4.7. Scientists find dome of violent submarine volcano off the coast of Baja, California. And uh, we've had a few big quakes out of this location that they're spotting, saying, yeah, that's where the underwater volcano is. Huh. Forget the Mayan calendar now. Please worry about volcanoes. Something really bad will happen at some point. Of that much, we can be sure. When, what, and how are the variables? One writer, one writer went and talked to some experts about what we should be worried about and what we can do about it. Here's what the volcano guy said. Quote, the threat posed by volcanoes worldwide is greatly underestimated. He tells me, today he says we ignore the fact that very large eruptions occur from time to time. It gets worse, he adds. The size of the eruption may occur on an average of somewhere on Earth every 200 to 500 years. It will occur again. And you got to remember, I keep going on about Katla and uh, how uh, we had a basically a nuclear winter from a uh, volcanic ash fallout. Over to the RSOE, they've got a few stories. Storm surge in the United Kingdom, a boat got capsized kind of thing. They've got uh, flash flooding, some severe storms up there. Snowstorms, uh, reports coming out of Romania and the Ukraine. And uh, that's about all new they have going on today. So over to the radiation stuff, e, &E News, a bunch of stuff here. So uh, fasten your seatbelts. Top experts fears uh, Napoleonville salt dome to continue to break up below the giant sinkhole. Quote, an underground Mount Everest. Over 50 caverns inside, some with explosive gas. And we're just now finding uh, some of the things leaking out of this cavern. It has collapsed and more stuff's coming out. There's a whole bunch of stories. Uh, Kyoto, magnitude 10 quake possible study says an hour of shaking tsunami lasting for several days that's wave after wave after wave large oil spill in new york city area harbor it's been going on since sandy feds damaged barge carrying almost 10 million gallons 158,000 gallons reported released so far an intense magnitude 5 quake hits near Fukushima, and that continues. They're still worried about number 4, spent fuel pool. Remember, it's up in the air teetering. Official map, giant sinkhole now just 1,200 feet away from highway, appears even closer in recent flyovers. Again, the sinkhole is reporting to be expanding. Uh, they think the pressure is coming up from below, and it's disintegrating from below, so it's falling. Government health expert, sand oil is more dangerous than radioactive waste below the giant sinkhole. I've got 50 of these huge, massive, ginormous tanks of God knows what all together. Depopulation with rapid aging after Fukushima Daiichi disaster, a new study reports. 
Here's a very scary story. Crackdown. Japanese professor arrest. Extremely unjust. Publicly opposed the burning of debris. And, uh, yeah. Radiation's levels rise for the fifth month straight in Fukushima City. But don't worry, folks. Everything's completely under control. And, uh, yeah, it goes on and on and on and on. And, of course, I go on and on and on and on. Uh, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, enjoy what you can. Make every day count. Um, we're all fashioning our seatbelts and holding on for the next week or two. So uh, we'll see what really happens. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.